I'm Catherine Spinelli here with the Latin E exclusive. We're here in beautiful Washington, D.C. at the 10th Annual National Latina Symposium. This event was created to honor and highlight Latina women both in the military and the workforce. We're really excited about this event, so stay with us as we interview some members. United States Marine Corps General Salinas. First of all, thank you so much for your service and for being here today. Thank you. It is a tremendous honor to have the opportunity to share not only my experiences, but more importantly, this great day with all these young women that have been recognized by Latina Style Magazine. And you just received the Lifetime Achievement Award. Can you tell us what this award means to you? Well, I'm both humbled and incredibly honored by this because to be recognized for doing nothing more than wearing the cloth of my nation is humbling. Uh, I would tell you that Robert Bard and Latina Style Magazine has done the one thing that no other corporation or company has done, which is to recognize Latinas serving in the military. So for him to give this award to me is truly an honor, but more because I want it to represent uh, all the men and women who've worn a uniform. And can you just briefly tell us a little bit about your history as a general and also tell us about Latina women serving in the military today? Well, now my experience as a general, in 2006 I was selected for Brigadier General. I was only the sixth woman in the United States Marine Corps to be selected for general and the first Latina. So I will tell you to say that there was a little bit of attention, you know, on top of that I became the first woman to command an all-male recruit depot in San Diego, California. So it, since 2006 has been pretty wild and pretty crazy. The best part is that in the Marine Corps about 14 percent are young Hispanic serving. So we have a great representation in the nation. You know, the challenges that we have is getting college educated young men and women, Hispanics, to come in because that's the, that's the piece to become an officer, to have the opportunity to rise to the rank of general. So I would tell you it means a whole lot, but it's more important if we can inspire somebody, a young man, a young woman of Hispanic descent, to want to be someone like me and to take my place. And that's the best part about a day like today. I'm here with Mr. Bard, President and CEO of Latina Style Inc. Mr. Bard, thank you for being here today and hosting this event. Well, thank you for being here. You know, it's a, it's a great inspirational event for us and working with a, with a group of, uh, of Latinas that very seldom get recognized, very seldom get seen. So it's, it's a pleasure for us to have the opportunity to recognize some of their, their accomplishment and at the same time to bring them to light toward the rest of our community. And can you briefly touch on the Distinguished Military Service Awards and the Latina Style Hero Initiative? You know, the, the Distinguished Military Service Awards is a program that we put together in 2004, specifically designed to recognize Latinas in the military service. Because you never saw any awards program or anything. It's, this is, you know, 2004 before it became fashionable. And uh, the program was, uh, was uh, initiated by recognizing four young Latinas graduating from the military academies. It's ten years later, we brought them back, you know, you saw them today. And through the ten years, we've been able to recognize 80 women and actually two men for their extra extraordinary work that they have done in, you know, in the service. And the HERO program is a program that we actually began as, a, as a, an extension of the work that we do with, a, with the National Latina Symposium because so many of our service men and women are going to be returning from being deployed abroad and they're going to be re-entering the civilian world and we need to have the jobs for them to be able to, to live the fulfilling life that they should live. After all, we've asked them to put in the line, their lives in the line for us the least that we can do is provide them with a good living and, and make sure that their families are taken care of when they get back. I'm here with the newest director of marketing and community affairs for Latina Style. Thank you so much for being with us today. And thank you for being here covering this wonderful event. And I heard you have a little message for us. I do. Don't forget to visit us at latinastyle.com, empowering one woman at a time.